Good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Today, I may look a little dishevelled, so I apologise for that. In fact, I'm just going to... It's very bright and very warm, which is lovely. And my battery light is flashing, which is not so lovely. Let's try that again. Take two. I've changed the battery. I apologise for being dishevelled. It is hot and I've been running around like a blue-ass fly, as they say. Um, we are going on holiday tomorrow. I am excited. I have been busy with all the last minute holiday things or pre-holiday things that one does. And I have now turned off my eBay shop, my vintage shop, and all my videos are scheduled apart from this one, which I've got to edit this afternoon after I've finished it. And I am pretty much ready to go, apart from I just need to pack. Now I have made a start. A couple of people asked for a pack with me video, um, so I thought I would do one. Haven't done one of these for, feels like a very long time. Now I have done a lot of packing over the years. I wouldn't say I'm an expert packer, but I am quite organised when it comes to packing. We have done everything <laughs> packing wise. Sorry, I've got the winds blowing, but it's very hot, so it's quite nice that it's blowing the blind in. Um, we have done everything from two weeks in Europe with hand luggage only through to <laughs> cruises with multiple suitcases and long haul travel with um, for, for two weeks with different climates and all that sort of thing. And um, packing is quite important, isn't it? This one coming up is a pretty easy one because Ashley and I are going to Greece for 10 days we're staying at two different places on the same island and um, we're flying from locally so there's no night before the quite often when we have to go up to London to fly we um, because it's such a long way from us we tend to go up the night before and stay in a hotel so then you've got another whole layer of packing on top of your holiday packing of what you're going to need that night in the hotel and uh, sometimes when you do a long haul flight I like to pack a mini suitcase to take onto the flight with me um, especially if it's an overnight one with a change of clothes and um, if you're doing a flight that's two flights to get to your destination I always worry that my luggage isn't going to turn up it's only happened once not to me but to my sister-in-law once and, and to Will um, but yeah I worry that my suitcase isn't going to turn up and so I like to take um, you know enough clothes to get me through the first day and my hand luggage and all of that stuff so this holiday coming up is going to be a nice super easy one um, the first thing I have which I have had for years is a holiday packing list yes I am that person I'm a Virgo what can I tell you um, I find this so useful this has changed over the years as I said when packing used to be more complicated well we've traveled with Will Longhorse since he was around four I think and so we would always take um, a few toys and bits and pieces for him and all of his clothes and that sort of stuff so I had a much more in these days it's just one side of A4 but previously it was um, quite a lengthy packing list and I've got it all in sections I've got clothing at first then I've got health and beauty down here and that includes medical I've got electronics here which is a, sadly a section that has got bigger over the years but that's just life now isn't it and I've got paperwork down here and then miscellaneous down at the bottom and then I have just a little tick box on the side and I tick them off as I get them ready here as you can probably I don't know if you can see my bed I've got stuff all over it I've got stuff all over here I'm going to go through it all with you I'm not going to go through every single piece of clothing because I will probably do outfits of the evening or something while I'm away so I'm not going to show you every single piece of clothing because frankly that would just be boring wouldn't it um, but I will go through how I pack, pack stuff and um, some of what I take and all of that sort of thing so if that's something you're interested in this is the video for you. Right, let's start by talking about clothes. First of all, I think about the climate of where I'm going. That starts me off. I'm going to Greece. It is Gokosakynthos, which is an island, a, a Greek island. Um, we are staying somewhere that is 
quite far from the Madden crowd. It's not a big resort. It's uh, more of a sort of small villagey area. Um, so it won't be very dressy. That's for the first seven days. And then we're staying somewhere a little bit more upmarket for our last three nights, um, which is a resort with a restaurant in it. And um, that sort of thing so I th I'm thinking that the last three nights will pr I'll probably want to dress up a little bit more and also we're going where we're staying we're going to be walk well, to start with we're going to be walking in the evenings out to various restaurants whereas the place we're staying in the at the end has a restaurant that on site so I will probably be able to wear slightly dressier shoes for anywhere that I'm walking I like my trainers or very flat sandals um, I don't like to do any walking in heels these days so and during the day it's going to be hot it's going to be swimming costume shorts tops um, and dresses I should think that sort of thing so that gives you an idea of the overview of what sort of thing I'm going to be taking um, the low temperature overnight at the moment is around 22 degrees which is my American viewers, when I talk in centigrade, approximately, if you double it and add 30, that's approximately Fahrenheit for if, you, if you're interested in doing so. Um, so yeah, it's about 22 is the low overnight, so I'm feeling like I probably won't need it. I'll probably take a cardigan just in case, but I'm feeling just one cardigan in a nice neutral colour will be more than enough in terms of warm weather gear. Now I do like to have options. I am an options person, so I guess you could probably say that I am an overpacker. I think that's fair. Let's just say that Ashley got me the 25 kilos of luggage, which was the maximum when he booked the flights. That <laughs> he was booking the flights unusually, so um, he um, it just got me the biggest allowance there was <laughs> without even asking. He's got 20 kilos, I've got 25. Um, sadly, both of us do have to take our laptops when we go on holiday um, as we work for ourselves, and it's just easier to have a laptop rather than trying to do anything hopefully we won't have to any necessity to have a laptop but um generally there is something that one or both of us need to do on our laptops and i have a mac and he has a pc so we can't even share a laptop but um that does add to the weight as well so i like to pull out my outfit for traveling separately we're leaving early tomorrow morning so i want to have that all ready to go that's there i've got a linen top wouldn't always travel in linen particularly if we're going to stay at an airport overnight before we go because it does get crumpled but we're traveling from exeter which is a really local airport only half an hour away so um i'm feeling like i'll manage to get away with the linen top and then cotton trousers and comfy white trainers and i've got my underwear ready to go as well now this is my massive pile of clothes i normally I like to take about seven or eight evening options for a 10 night holiday because I will tend to re-wear and I like to choose tops that will mix and match for evening into day as well. I, I've gone more, to, I've got several dresses this time. As the years go by, I find dresses a much easier option. I've also got my jumpsuit there, my leopard print one. Because you don't have to mix and match, do you? You just put a dress on, it's one and done, isn't it? So um, from that point of view, that's quite good, really. Um, I've then got over here, this is sort of daytime stuff. Um, lots of T-shirts, a couple of pairs or three pairs of shorts there and a beige, a black and a navy. Yeah, I feel like I've probably got too much here. So I'm just going to finish roll. I like to roll everything as well. Um, I haven't got my underwear out yet. Over here, I have got four swimsuits two cover-ups and that is a sort of smoky beach type midi dress um really nice just to throw on on the beach if you're going for lunch or something um so that's that pile and i feel like i've probably got a bit too much here so i'm going to go through the evening stuff possibly weed out one of the daytime t-shirts as well we shall see and um yeah get it all rolled up these are my shoes that I'm taking. As you, I've, 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 these are my shoes that I'm taking. I've already shown you the white trainers that I'm going to wear to travel in. I've got these rose gold, slightly um, sparkly, but still quite neutral wedges. Um, I've got these little kitten heel mules. Um, 
Haviana's flip flops, best flip flops in the world. And these sort of look, they look rather well worn. They're only from this year. Pavers, really comfy, flat sandals. Um, everything, as you can see, is pretty neutral. I like to try and keep my shoes neutral so they go with everything. Time to get out my first packing secret weapon. I say my first one as if I have a plethora of packing secret weapons. Spoiler alert, I don't. But these, I've had these for years. I have mentioned them on YouTube before, but it is years since I've done so. I can't remember the last time I mentioned them because it's probably quite a long time since I did a packing video. And it is these. Oh, they're packing cubes, I hear you say. We've seen those before. Yes, you're right, you have seen these before. However, however, these are not just packing cubes. These are compression packing cubes. So, let me demonstrate. These open up this wide. You put your stuff in, you zip them up like so. And then you have a second zip. These are so strong, I've, ha I've had them for years and used them a lot. The second zip then compresses the whole package. Um, I will put some stuff into some of them and show you um, that how, how it sort of works because it's difficult to explain it without. It's not difficult to explain it, I'm sure you understand. I'm feeling very chatty today, can you tell? I feel like I'm saying a lot of words when less will suffice. Also, I apologise if I'm looking very shiny, it's because I'm very hot. Um, but yeah, these are just the best thing ever. They came from Amazon. I don't even know if they're still available because I've had them so long. But if they are, I will link below. It's a set of one, two, three, four, five of different sizes. And you also get a random bag that you put in, like a drawstring bag that you can put stuff in as well. So, example, I've just put all my underwear for the week into this one. As you can see, it is quite fat. So then I do up the second zip all the way around, which compresses it down to this. Three packing cubes packed and compressed. I've got all my daytime clothes in this one, swimsuits and cover-ups in that one, underwear in that one. I just, I, honestly, I can't express how much I love these things. Packing cube number four sorted. This one has got a couple of toiletries bits um, and I've got deodorant, uh, sunscreen, a um, couple of belts and some socks in this one. Into my final packing cube is my pyjamas. Not gonna lie, that one took a big effort to zip up. However, I filled these to capacity before and Never yet had one break. They are very well, very well made. They also come in different colours if bright yellow isn't your thing. I quite like it, but there you go. My next packing trick is pouches. I love a pouch very much indeed. <laughs> so these three that I have are medical, hair care, skincare. The medical one has evolved over the years. I used to have things like Calpol and lots of plasters and Savlon and all that sort of thing in it when Will was little. Um, these days it's a bit more adult orientated. It's got things like painkillers, throat sweets. Um, if we go long haul I tend to put some rehydration sachets in it in case we get upset tummies um it's got a meprazole and rene <laughs> tell me you're in your 50s without telling me you're in your 50s um, it's got what else has it got in it oh it has got some ibuprofen gel um painkillers um just every day so it's got some of my hrt patches as well actually <laughs> but um yeah just the everyday sort of medications that you might need i keep my medicine that I need to take over my blood pressure pills and um, supplements I put into one of these that's two weeks worth in there um, the days of the week are wearing off that annoyingly <laughs> but it, it's it, some of them the catches are very strong but this one they are actually very strong 
and they don't open and kind of come out and go everywhere. I keep this one in my hand luggage because that is prescription medication that I need on a daily basis. Um, let's do skincare next, which is this one. I love a travel size bit of skincare, I really do. So I will show you what I have in here. I try not to take anything in a glass bottle. That is one of my criteria for selecting what I'm taking. Um, something appears to have leaked in there. I don't know what it is. Let's see if we can figure it out. Um, first of all, I take a lot of cotton wool. I use that for taking my makeup off. Um, I don't like wipes anymore. I really don't like them. I find they pull up my skin and they don't get my makeup off to my satisfaction. Um, Garnier Micellar Water. This is the Rose Cleanse and Glow one, um, travel size. Then I've got for my second cleanse, I've got the remains of this Caudalie um, gel cleanser and a little balm cleanser called Clean It Zero. This this stuff is really nice. I think this came from YesStyle in a box of four. It's um, fragrance free, but it's a really nice balm consistency. This one is a bit foamy and drying. I don't love it, but I'll just use it up. Um, then I've got a little glycolic toner there that's about half full from Superdrug. Um, a plump and glow hydrating facial mist there. I think it could be this one that is leaking. Is it you? I think it could be. Let's make sure you're properly done up. I think I might replace that with another facial spritz of a different type. Um, Serum wise, I've got my Skin and Me that I'm still loving for um, Skin and Me for Caroline. I do like that. That's for the evenings. Then I've got a Medicaid Peptides Serum for the mornings. And I've got a Clinique Moisturiser for the daytime moisture surge. And I've got an Elemis Pro Collagen Marine, Cle Marine Cream even for the evening moisturiser. And then I've got most hotels these days have face cloths to wash your face with in the evening, but I do take one with me just in case. Um, I'm also gonna pop into that because I have the room, my perfumes, got the Jo Love, Jo Love's Mango Tie Lime. I'm not gonna talk too much about perfumes because I have a video coming up. I think it's this coming week. If it's not, it's the following week, uh, my perfume collection. But I think it's the following week actually. And I've got this Marks and Spencer white coconut for daytime, which is coconut and vanilla, which is lovely. That came in the Marks and Spencer summer summer box, I think it was called, or summer bag this year. So that's my skincare one, skincare and perfume. And then this one is hair care. Love a zipped pouch. You can never have too many, you know. Um, oh, I don't think you can anyway. Right, hair care. What have we got in here? I've got quite embarrassed to show you this. This is a, a hairband that is really quite grubby that um, I just use for scraping my hair back if I want to do my face. Um, I've got a couple of scrunchies there. I've got a big clip that I use for um, pinning my hair back when I'm drying it, pinning sections back, a little leopard clip. Um, for pinning it back during the day if I want to. A hairbrush, comb for back combing, um, a Veda Cherry Almond Shampoo and Conditioner. Love this stuff. I don't think it does anything different to my hair considering the price. However, it smells absolutely delicious. Um, this is hair volumizing product of some description that I've transferred into a smaller container. And this is a body ampl amplified Tony and Guy hairspray. And that is my hair one. Passports and paperwork next. Now I actually, all I have is my passport and two boarding passes, which I printed off yesterday for our outward flight. Ashley has all the other paperwork because he booked the holiday this time. Um, so he's done all the printouts of that. So he will be in charge of that. But normally it's me. And normally I put them in this Osprey um, zipped pouch, which is nice and flat. And that just slots into my hand luggage and it has all the bookings that we need. But yeah, I put all my bits of paper, my confirmations of my, com we've booked it. This isn't a package holiday. We've booked it all separately. We've also got car hire. So all of that paperwork, 
I would put into this. Ashley will probably just have it in his hand luggage. Um, side note, now when you hire a car in Europe, you need a special driving license. You have to go to the post office and get a European driving license. Who knew? That might be useful information for anybody now. Who knows? That's a Brexit thing, I believe. Um, Anyway, yes, that's what I'd normally put my paperwork in, but I am not being in charge of paperwork this time. Yay for that. Another pouch. Another pouch, yes. This one opens up like this. I think it came from Primark. This, as you can see, this is my laptop charger in the bottom section. Got Kindle charger and um, adapters for grease three pin to two pin adapters in the middle section. And then in this oh one moment please call them while i do it that's it in this section i've got my ipad and the iphone chargers um i'm also going to have my camera charger and a battery charger which is quite a chunky thing um to sit in there as well so chargers really do weigh quite a lot <laughs> um but yeah, that's um, all my electronics all into one place. And I find this really good just for separating them and keeping them all neat rather than shoving them all into one compartment. This goes together quite nicely and looks like that and um, just holds them all in the same place but that stops them getting too tangled up. Time to talk jewellery. And I've decided to go pretty minimal this holiday. I tend to overpack jewellery. I say that like I don't overpack everything else, but I do tend to take a lot of jewellery and not wear it when I go away on holiday. However, I do very much like my travel jewellery case. Um, I'm not taking it this time, but I will show you it in a sec. But I've just put, I've got these little drawstring bags from, two are from Kate Spade. I don't know where the other one's from. Got one for earrings, one for bracelets and one for necklaces, they're all from Kate Spade actually, that one's just brown, uh, and one for necklaces, um, and I've only taken a couple of each, I'm not, um, not taking a lot of jewellery this time, however when I do take more jewellery, this is great, um, it zips all the way around, it's like wipe cleanable type of material, and it has, just let me undo all of the zips, the, set, the compartments open separately, which I really like as well. Um, oh, this one's got another Kate Spade holder in it. Um, a big compartment down at the bottom here with a Velcro-y thing if you want to do, like more for chunky bracelets or something, I think, because that one's quite a deep compartment there. And you've got a little zippable compartment in here. Then on the other side of that, you've got a small zippable compartment and these three things that can be for either necklaces or bracelets that do go down with poppers and magnetic there. And then in this one, you've got three separate elasticated pockets and three magnetic popper clips there to hang other things on. And this is great because if you're taking a lot of jewellery, it keeps everything in its little compartment. Everything doesn't get tangled together. If you've got a lot of chains, there's nothing worse than untangling chainy necklaces on holiday, is that, as I said, I'm going minimal this time, so I'm going to leave this one behind. But this was from Amazon, again, absolutely years ago. If it's still available, I will link it in the description box below. Right, the final part of this video, and I'm aware I haven't shown you everything, but, um, I might do a what's in my holiday makeup bag while I'm on holiday, if you're interested in that. If you're interested, let me know, and I will do, do a quick recording of that while I'm away. But um, the final part is what's in my hand luggage. This is my Ted Baker, it's fairly new actually, camel coloured or tan, tan I think we'll call it, um, tote bag. I've got this in black as well and I absolutely love it. I bought it in the sale this summer and it is a good size 
but and it holds a lot um which is quite good because i seem to have quite a lot in it i will probably honestly only use this for traveling back and forth um what i have got as well is this which hasn't got its strap on because its strap is inside this is my crossbody marks and spencer nice and flat bag that does expand to hold quite a lot but it's just the perfect size for on holiday um i'm using it as a sort of pouch inside my main handbag just for traveling um let's start with what i've got in this which is or is going to be its own handle which i've taken off it does the handle comes on and off um reading glasses spare reading glasses because i have reached that age that i need my reading glasses and if they break or i can't find them at least i've got a spare pair um, my medication which i showed you earlier Posh sunglasses, my Ray-Bans, those are cheap sunglasses, my Primark ones. So two pairs of sunglasses, two pairs of reading glasses, medication and the strap. And then that zips across the top and goes inside this one, which also has in it a little purse, which has, I, I transfer out of my, this is my main everyday purse, which is really too big these days um so i've just got credit cards and debit cards um it's got a wallety part for cash and a little zip part for coins at the back and that is a much more sensible size for taking on holiday than that great big thing i don't need all my loyalty cards and all of that malarkey um phone is in there a notebook is in there because I like to take a notebook on holiday with me. Um, my iPad, my Kindle, a pen to go with the notepad and this pouch here which has inside it, bear with, a packet of tissues, a hand cream, Two different lip salves, that is a Blistex one and a fresh balm, um, some cuticle oil, a nail file and a fold up shopping bag. Now the fold up shopping bag and the tissues are going back in and then all the rest, oh and the nail file and the rest of it I'm transferring into this plastic bag because that's all classed as liquids and then it will go back in inside the plastic bag and then when I get to the airport the security I can just pull out the plastic bag so it's separate so that then goes back in here with all the other stuff um always find a fold up shopping bag useful on holidays when you pop to the supermarket and get some bits and pieces cold drinks and whatever uh, it's always use useful to have one of those and it saves you using a plastic one doesn't it or having to buy a fold up one or whatever that is it let me show you my suitcase which is not completely packed but it is almost packed it's looking pretty full there's only a few more bits to go in at the bag with the um electric chargers and uh, my babyliss big hair hairdress hair dryer and then my laptop will go in the back compartment and that is it well i hope you've enjoyed this little pack with me video um i'll link everything i mentioned as far as i can in the description box below um thank you very much for watching there will be some holiday content coming up of course outfits of the evening um holiday vlog all the usual sort of thing um as i said let me know if you want to see my holiday makeup bag um that's it for today thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye